Well, the dive bender continues. This is day four that I've gone diving in the past week, week and a half. And uh, I'm pumped. Welcome back. If you guys are new, my name is Braden Sharon. We are out with Fisher today, once again at the rigs. And a little bit breezier than it's been. But good enough to make it out and do some diving. I got some good clean, once again, clean green. It's some near shore rigs and Actually, I'm going to be doing a couple things different today. I'll be trying out a brand new gun. This is actually given to me by Captain George Brown, with Texas Blue Water Spearfishing Charters. It's an inverted roller. I installed a reel on it last night, and we're going to test it out today. Other than that, goal is snapper, hopefully, and then I was thinking uh, some puppy black drum. I've been seeing, or I have seen quite a bit of black drum in this area over the years, so might try to shoot a few of those. But other than that, we're gonna hop in the water um, and see what we get into. You guys stay tuned. All right, guns loaded. Looks really good when it's all loaded up. Nice and sleek, give a clear sight down the muzzle. I like it. And if you're wondering, I do have a tennis ball on the back of here, just so it's easier on my chest. Not sure if it's totally necessary with a wetsuit, but definitely softens it up. But yeah, here we go. We're gonna test this gun out today. It's gonna be a pretty chill diving today. Not looking for a ton of fish or anything too crazy. We got a nice couple meat trips, so. Really just gonna dive around, see what we can come across. All right, here we go. Into the green. If you guys enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button. Helps me and the channel out a bunch. And as I said, today's gonna be a pretty chill day of diving. We're staying in close, near shore in 50 feet of water here. It's just a bit too choppy to really send it today. So we're just gonna check out this area and try out this new gun. Huge thank you to George, by the way, for sponsoring the channel this. All he asked in return was for feedback. So excited to test it out and use it. Here's a good look at the band lay. Everything's nice and sleek. And I'm just getting a feel for it here. This is my first time ever using an inverted roller. So it'll be cool to see how it shoots and just feel out the differences with it. This thing is supposed to have very minimal recoil and have quite a bit of punch for its size. It is a 100 centimeter gun, but George shoots African Pompano with this setup and has even shot Wahoo. So it's compact and maneuverable, great for the rigs and even dirty water, but also seems to have some zip to sling that spear out there. But for the dive in here, Fisher made a dive, I made a dive, and then this here is his second drop. And it's nice and clean up top, but as soon as you start getting a depth, it starts to get real hazy, and that murk layer appears to be pretty bad. But regardless, a nice eater black drum pops up out of the murk here. And Fisher lets it rip. Pretty cool. I've always 
had to get them right off the bottom. So that was pretty nice that it came up where he could see it. Love these smaller puppy black drum, as we call them. They taste really, really good. And they're fun to hunt, too, because you have to dive down to the bottom to get them. So there's more of a exciting, challenging aspect to it. Here is my next dive. Just a couple highlights of it. Saw a small red snapper, a bunch of sheep's head, spade fish. And then Fisher was actually bringing that drum back to the boat. So I was waiting on him. And I pick up a vertical jig here. Figured I'd clean that up. And I actually head back to the boat as well. My mask was leaking because of my mustache. So I went to go get some Vaseline. The boy needs some Vaseline. $15 jig. That's a perfect. The puppy blacks. It's an eater right there. And here's my next dive. You can see the bottom's really murked out. Fish are dropped down as well, but it's just a cloud. So what we're really just hoping for is for it to settle down and clear up or there to be a pocket of clear for us to see down there. But on this dive, it was pretty blown out, so I just post up and hope that maybe a snapper or a drum will pop up out of the murk. And then on my way up, I saw a tarpon. And then my GoPro freezes up and I miss the next dive. Alright, got a nice black drum, first shot ever with the inverted roller, and i tell you what, talk about Sierra recoil, that was insane. Wish my head camera was rolling, I don't think it was, but really good eats right there got what we were looking for those black drum are really fun to hunt down there on the bottom but i noticed after that one dive and shooting that one little pocket murked back up and nothing ever settled again down near the bottom unfortunately here Here's a look at how to load this inverted roller. Took me a little bit to get used to it, get the process dialed, but once I got it down, it I can load it pretty quickly. You just unload these bottom bands, load the top line, and then once it's on to the tab of the shaft, you flip the gun over and load those bottom bands. Don't need a load assist, which is nice. You can use one if you want. I used it intermittently. Just gives you a little bit more to grab onto once you start the load. But if you unload those bottom bands and once you get used to just loading that Dyneema, it's really not needed. And also I should mention, using a slip tip, testing out this line holder, which works perfectly solves the issue of getting tension keeping the tip on 
here's Fisher's next dive. Once I get back in the water, drops down, hovers above this murk, and that shadow right there is a good shooter size black drum. But unfortunately, he lines it up front of the head and it jukes. Complete 180 right as he shoots. I end up making three more dives on different areas of the rig. This is the third dive. Uh, just see sheep's head and then this borderline red snapper. I was leaning more so on the side of it being undersized, but it was close. But bottom stays murky and blown out, so we decide to make a move. Not much else going on. Well, the one dive that I dove to the bottom and it was actually clean and saw a drum and shot, my camera had <laughs> frozen up. It might be a little more nitpicky to load, but I kid you not, I pulled the trigger and it was just like nothing. Pretty cool. Poked that black drum down there at the bottom, 50 feet of water. We got what we hoped for. A couple good eater black drum. Saw one or two red snapper that were close to the minimum. They might have been legal, but these black drum are really good eats. Spot number two here. This one was open down here at the bottom. You could really see compared to the last rig at least. And here is a redfish just hanging, sitting there on the bottom. Third dive here. And there's actually a small gag grouper right here. Thought that was cool. Don't see those often at all where I dive mostly. But other than the redfish, just about the same as far as sheep's head and spade fish and more undersized red snapper. This here is my fourth dive at this spot. Now I'm just kind of checking out this little grouper, waiting to see if anything else will show. And at this point, I just decide we're seeing all these shooter sheep's head around, and we're not seeing much else to shoot, and I want to get more shots in with the gun. So I let it rip on that one. You can see there was like no recoil there. And we get shot number two under our belt with the new gun. Dispatching and bleeding here. And for those that are new and possibly wondering maybe why we don't normally pay these sheep's head much mind, and it's mainly because we've just been diving for so long you can get these sheep's head on the jetty or inshore. When we're out here offshore, we're looking for those more desirable, challenging, and elusive fish. So have that sporting mindset while we are trying to get meat. If we can find those other fish first, we'll go for those. If it's slow or not, it's not happening, you can also hunt these sheep's head. And if you enjoy it, you like eating them, there's nothing wrong with it. By all means, go for it. They still taste great. Most people probably won't be able to tell the difference between a snapper and a sheep's head. I do personally prefer 
overall the snapper, and in today's case a black drum, but that's not to take away from the sheep's head. I'll still target them as well, say if we're at the jetty or for inshore diving, where that's the main fish, just not typically out here offshore. Well, so far, pretty chill day. Other than the current, it's kind of pushing with this wind. But we got two black drum. That's kind of what we were looking for. And then I shot the sheep's head at the last rig. Spot number four. Decided to keep hopping around. And this is Fisher's first dive. And you can see there are a pile of big southern stingrays down here. And for the most part, a pretty open, clear bottom. Lots of fish around, as well as a handful of mangroves there. Fisher likes it and lets it rip on one. Finally got the snapper we were after. Not quite as big as what you'll see in other videos, but for this area, we will take it. It'll eat. After Fisher gets that fish in the boat, he jumps back in with the big lens underwater camera here. We get some shots from the third person perspective. And here I go on a dive. This camera will also give you a lot more realistic look of the watercolor and just the overall environment than the, the GoPros. So just for reference, when I go down, it just kind of plane out just high enough off the bottom where I'm not worried about those giant stingrays. And I just look around for a snapper since Fisher got one. But it seems as if the nicer ones have kind of spooked off. And it's also murked up a bit from that commotion. But here is my fourth dive, same spot. Decide to give it one last look here and I decide I'm gonna shoot something. So I go down and just set up nice and calm right above this Merc. And sheep's head seem to be the shooters around. So I line up on one, but actually jukes a spear, and I hit this one behind it. Did not mean to shoot this fish. Completely my fault. But we do get a, a sheep's head. I was aiming at the head on the other one and ended up hitting this one mid-body. Oh well. Check it to make sure it's legal here. And that right there I measured right at 16 inches. Minimum I think 15. it's safe to say today so is... Good. 
the peak of this season. <laughs> got our black drum, got one snapper. Yes, so uh, we got we got pretty much the target. Just shot a few more sheep's head, testing this gun out and to get some more meat. All right, one last spot here. Fifth rig of the day. This is my second drop here. Didn't want to end on that last shot. Want to get one more good trigger pull with the gun. Got a big wad of sheep's head. Line up on the one of the bigger ones. And the spear zips right through. This gun, for its size, has quite some punch. It's just weird because there's like no kickback. But there you go, that is gonna do it for the diving. Overall, very laid back, chill day. Nothing too wild, but did what we could and made the best of the day. All right, Always well that's about all we're gonna do today. Fun. Nice, easy day. That wind chop is gonna make it too miserable to really punch out and do anything crazy. So, hopped around and Got those black drum, those are kind of the, the objective. And then Fisher got one mangrove. Didn't really see any other big ones. Saw a couple of, you know, decent ones with meat on them, but nothing like we're used to, so I didn't even pull the trigger. But uh, yeah, got those sheep's head as well. Wanted to get a few more shots testing George's gun out, and we got a good little mess of fish. All right, y'all, we back at the house. And I'm going to hack a few fillets off these fish. For this video, I'm going to do the black drum. Uh, I'm going to cook that one. That's really what I was looking forward to the most. So, there's an upside down view of it. Let's clean her up. No different than how we do any other fish. Just might be a little bit harder with these, with these scales. Filet's looking money. Got to test out the gun from George. Shot good. I mean, the gun might not be for everyone, you know, different strokes for different folks. Being an inverted roller, it might take, or definitely takes a little longer than our standard two bander. But if you really want no recoil, and a lot of power and a short gun. It's pretty solid. Good eats right there. A quick little look at the cooking here. Start out by drying the fish off. I cut the bones and bloodline out. Heat up some olive oil in a pan. Season it up with the seasoning we're working on. I'll let you guys know when that is launching. And once the fish is finished, it's ready to go. Keeping it real simple and just eating fish and rice today. Getting the rice ready to go. And then once all of this is done, we're going to throw the fish on the rice. And this is one of my favorite ways to do it. Real simple, but delicious. And that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.